Hey, what's going on guys, Wingsman here and welcome back to another wrestling tutorial and today guys I'm gonna be showing you how to make this really cool and simple basketball mini game in Minecraft Bedrock Edition So if you guys are excited for that, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you're new and without further ado, let's get right into today's video you guys probably remember this minigame from one of my other videos, but I took a tiny bit of redstone, modified a few things and made it like 100 times better. The first thing I changed is that we actually now have a payment system, you can see we need to pay 1 diamond to get 5 basketballs right over here inside of the chest. If we put our diamond, you can see we're going to get 5 basketballs right over here underneath the carpet, because we have a little dispenser right there. Of course you can use dropper, it doesn't really matter, but you can see we are always going to get exactly 5 of the basketballs. In this case I'm using acacia wood planks because they kinda resemble the basketball the most. Of course if you try to put any other item, maybe some redstone over here, you're not going to get anything. Even if you put some chest, you have to actually put in the diamond. You can see every time we're going to get exactly 5 of the basketballs right over here. So of course this is a great mini game to play with your friends and see who can score the most. You can see right over here underneath the actual hoop we have some of the hoppers. That way if you actually miss you can just go pick up the actual ball and try again. The ball is actually going to disappear into the system. And over here if you actually score right over here in this hopper you're gonna see that these lights are gonna turn on and we're gonna get some of the little sounds from the node blocks. You guys are probably not gonna hear them but I'm going to show them a little bit. What you want to do is pretty much scroll right here without actually opening the hopper and putting in uh, the actual block. You want to go over here and actually try to score. I noticed that if you're playing on the phone you need to hold the actual item and it takes 3 seconds before you spit it out. And you want to jump right at the 3 second mark. So just hold it, 1, 2, 3, jump and go ahead and you can see we actually scored. We got this and the actual little ding but you guys probably didn't hear it because I can't really record the internal sound. You can see the rest of this may look a tiny bit complicated, but trust me, it's incredibly simple. All we have is a little sorting system right here for our diamonds, for our payment. You probably recognize this design because I already used it like a couple times in my videos. Again, we are pretty much getting the power from this piece of redstone because currently it's not active, but as soon as we actually put in the diamond, we're gonna be able to get the signal right there. We are pretty much catching the signal over here with the repeater on mic stick delay, which is going into a little comparator clock. Basically the comparator clock is going to uh, lower the actual signal and the observer is going to detect that and it's going to send the signal and of course we just have this signal going right over here underneath our little dropper or dispenser whatever you want to use and it's pretty much connected with redstone and basically because we have just two of the comparators we're always going to get five of the basketballs. If you want to kind of expand this and get more basketballs just make a bigger little clock right there. Right over here what we have is the actual scoring system, these three hoppers over here are just, if you actually miss, you can see they're not going into the actual scoring system, they're just going inside of our little chest and this is basically where all of the basketballs go, if you miss or if you score as well. Only way to actually activate the little scoring system is to actually score over here in this hoop, this little copper right there. You can see this copper is actually attached with a little comparator. Basically when we score the ball is going to go through the copper and the little comparator is going to detect that, sending the signal to the actual redstone lamps right here. And all we have is just a couple of the no blocks to admit this sound when you actually score besides the actual lamp turning on. Again you guys probably can't hear it because I can't record the internal sound. But of course that's pretty much all there is for the redstone. It may look complicated because the redstone is all over the place. But trust me this is really simple and I'm going to show you how to make it right now. The blocks we're going to need for this are right here in my inventory. Hopefully I'm actually going to put the list in the comments. Again if I don't put it let me know and I'm actually going to put it right there. I usually have two videos waiting to be uploaded so sometimes I record the rest of the video like one or two days before I actually upload it and sometimes I can forget the actual list of the redstone. But enough talk, let's get to the actual redstone. The first thing we want to do is actually put in our little item sorter. We're gonna have the chest right here, grab ourselves some hoppers, we're gonna have one leading into the chest and four more hoppers on top of that and we're gonna have the chest on top of that as well. Then go ahead, destroy the second one and we're actually gonna put in a little trash can, that way people can't actually cheat the system. We're basically gonna have another copper leading to the left with the chest right here and all of the items that are not diamonds which is going to be our payment of our choice are going to end up in this chest right here. 
right underneath of the copper that goes into a little trash can, we want to destroy it and have it pointing to the right right there. And pretty much this is the copper where we're gonna have our item sorter, we want to have the comparator coming from that copper right there. Grab ourselves some blocks and have two of the blocks right over here and have the rest on dust on top of them. Have the rest on torch on this side and build two more blocks over here next to the little hopper train. Have the rest on dust right there. What we want to do is actually grab ourselves 21 of the items of your choice. I'm just using grass blocks because I just kinda have them. But you can see over here we want to have these 6 in the first slot and 5 in 3 other spots. And right here is our payment of our choice which is in my case going to be diamond. Again, you can see this rest on dust is not powered unless we actually put in the diamond right here. You can see it's gonna get powered for the brief time and that's pretty much where we're gonna grab our signal. What we want to do is actually build a couple of the blocks right here. We're gonna have the repeater on max stick delay actually detecting this block right there. Basically, when this rest on powers, it's going to power the block and we're gonna uh, pretty much have the rest on going this way because we're using the little repeater. Before we actually carry the rest on over, we want to decide where we actually want to have this basketball game. I'm actually gonna have it in this direction, so I need to decide where I want to put my dropper. I'm just going to have another block right over here and a block right there, and I'm pretty much gonna have the little dropper pointing upwards. Make sure that it's in the same line where your floor is actually going to be, like so. And we can pretty much destroy these blocks over here because we don't really need them right now. This is pretty much where we're gonna get our basketballs and this is where we need to connect the redstone from our clock that we're gonna assemble right now. What we want to do from this redstone uh, repeater, pretty much bring three pieces of the redstone down. We're also gonna have one right there and pretty much create a little comparator clock like so. One comparator facing in this direction and the other one facing the other. And just complete the actual clock with some redstone dust. Right over here we're gonna have ourselves the observer that's gonna be detecting this piece of redstone. And grab yourself uh, some of the blocks of your choice and we're pretty much going to carry the rest on over to the block underneath the actual dropper. Just go ahead and create the staircase using some block of your choice. Grab yourself the rest on and pretty much connect it right there. This is going to ensure that we are only going to get 5 basketballs and 5 basketballs only every single time. Now what we want to do is pretty much uh, cover up the rest over here and create a little bit of the platform for us to walk on and of course create the walls for the actual mini game. What we want to do when we actually create a little platform over here is to grab or save the block for choice and go three blocks away from the actual dropper right there. Just go ahead build something like that and we can pretty much bring the blocks right over here as well. And this is where we're going to construct our little basketball. What we want to do is actually grab ourselves some of the fences and we pretty much want to kind of fence the area out. We want to have a three fences right over here in front of the actual dropper and two more on either side over here just like so. And pretty much this is where we're gonna be constructing our actual little uh, basketball. What we want to do is right over here destroy the block and we are pretty much gonna have a little hopper right there but we want to have the chest over here with the hopper which is actually going to be our little basketball hoop. Then grab yourself the block for choice and pretty much cover up this over here and also make the actual hoop look a tiny bit better. So just go ahead, grab yourself the block for choice and just kind of build a little bit up. And I'm also going to use uh, the little white uh, concrete to actually make this look a tiny bit better and give it a little board right there. And we can grab ourselves the block for choice and pretty much cover up over here and then later on we are pretty much gonna be replacing some of the blocks with the actual rest on labs to kind of indicate that we actually scored. Now that majority of our minigame is done, we want to put in the actual scoring system. For that, we are just gonna go and destroy these blocks over here underneath the chest and three blocks right here in front of the actual chest and the fences. And this is pretty much where we're gonna be putting our little collection system for the actual basketballs. So right over here, we're actually gonna have a double chest right underneath. And we are basically gonna have another copper right over here. I need to build some of the blocks that way I can put in the copper a little bit easier we can see the copper from this chest is gonna go right there and this is the copper that we're actually gonna be detecting for the actual scoring system and over here we're just gonna have some of the coppers that way we can actually uh, gather the basketballs if someone misses because 99 percent of the times the basketballs are actually gonna end up in one of these three coppers right here of course if they miss the coppers then they're really skilled if they actually manage to put the block in one of these corners right there that way the copper can't actually get it 
But other than that, what we want to do is actually grab ourselves the signal from the scoper again. We're just gonna build some of the blocks over here because we want to have the comparator going from the actual little hopper. And of course, to extend the signal, we're going to need a repeater. Right over here on both sides, I'm actually gonna have redstone labs. This is optional, you don't even have to put in the actual redstone labs or uh, the little node blocks. This is just to kinda indicate the actual scoring. Otherwise, you can kinda cheat in this. Maybe if you miss, the friend uh, doesn't see that the ball actually went in these hoppers, they are gonna think that you actually scored. So this just kinda indicates this. Of course, you don't have to use both the redstone labs and the actual node blocks. You can just use the redstone labs, but I just kinda like that little sound of uh, the actual uh, node box but again it's fully optional we're just gonna have a simple staircase leading up and just grab ourselves the rest on and pretty much lead it to the rest of lamps and we are pretty much set and again, if you want, you can put in the actual node blocks over here, just kinda change this out, it doesn't really affect the whole game, just kinda adds a nice little twist to the actual scoring system, but we are pretty much done with redstone. Of course, you can decorate this however you would like, you can use any blocks, but when you actually put in the last scoring system stuff, you are pretty much done with redstone, you can pretty much cover up this wall as well over here, that way it's just gonna look a tiny bit nicer, but that's pretty much all there is for the redstone. Last thing you want to do is just put in your basketballs right here, I'm using acacia wood planks, of course you can rename them, in my opinion again they just look the best, and of course you can grab yourself the carpet and just kinda cover that up, go over here, pay yourself the diamond and you're gonna be able to see that we're going to get 5 of the basketballs right here, and we can pretty much challenge our friends to see who is going to do the best. Let's just check our little scoring system, so 1, 2, 3 and jump, and nope, you can see I missed, and you can see we didn't score, the item actually went over there, you can see this is kinda tricky, if you mess up, your friend can definitely win this, let's try that again, and jump, and yes, I scored, and the lamps turned on, and I actually hear the little thing. I'll be honest with you guys, it's been like 5 or 10 minutes since the previous clip, I know it doesn't really seem like much, but I should have wrapped this video up a little bit earlier, I kinda got addicted to the game, it's surprisingly easy actually, but anyway, that's pretty much all there is for this video, if you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you're new, if you think any of your friends would enjoy this type of content, make sure to share with them, but as always, I really hope you enjoyed, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one, peace out.